three, two, go! This is qualification match number 89. The fighting unicorns deliver a gear. That gear used to start the main rotor aboard the Red Alliance airship. Blue Alliance able to do the same. Our score is 75-65. Blue Alliance with the lead. All three of the Blue Alliance robots having passed the baseline, adding an additional 15 points to their score. Teleoperated period now underway. Drivers are at the controls, remotely guiding their machines. Technical foul now. This one charged to the Red Alliance. May have been on first team 3356 for contact in the retrieval zone. 25 points will be awarded then to the Blue Alliance. 3484 for the Blue Alliance. Far side of the field. Nose is into position. Pilots aboard the airship retrieve a gear. They've got it. They can add it to their gear train. They'll need just two more in order to start up a third rotor. Red Alliance has already activated their third rotor. They've got the lead. 145 to 140, our score. About 65 seconds remaining. 10 to 38 now, gathering up fuel from the field. That's a Red Alliance robot that can. It's a great shooter. Maneuvering into position near the Red Alliance boiler. And begins shooting towards a high efficiency opening at the top of the boiler. Some of the fuel making it all the way inside. Helping to add to the score for the Red Alliance. 35 seconds left. <laughs> Pilots aboard each airship now. Release ropes. Now that the ropes have been deployed, robots can climb up those ropes and earn additional points by signaling that they are ready for flight. Blue Alliance has two robots climbing, both of them indicating that they're ready for flight. RPM and short circuit now the Girls of Steel signaling they're ready for flight as well. Red Alliance with two robots. Blue Alliance poured it on. Let's find out who came out on top. Blue Alliance crosses the finish line first. 330 to 249. Blue Alliance is your 